Welcome back. I hope that you took a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Thank you so much to Liberty, our sponsor, for helping us to bring all this content to you there at home. Please don't forget to download our Tenfold Education app where you are able to do things at your own pace. And please do follow us on our YouTube channel at Mindset Learn. So we are busy with common mistakes that are made by learners um, in paper one. Don't forget that paper one is finance, data handling, um, and it's also a bit of probability. The biggest issues that I find that learners make are most definitely within finance. Um, we have already covered um, compound interest and the likes. Now we are going to move into tariffs. So basically a tariff system or a tariff is whatever we are paying to municipality for us to do our day-to-day -day things within the household, like our water bill, our electricity bill, those are tariffs. So what we need to know about tariffs is that there is a bit of an inflation when it comes to tariffs. Um, and what we always need to remember when it does come to tariffs is that sometimes the table will have the VAT included already in it. And sometimes the table will have, um, it will say to us VAT exclusive. So it's very important for us to know that. Let's look at the table that we have in front of us. So this table um, in particular is from um, the year 2021-2022 and sometimes you will have that comparison there with that comparison. So basically it's just telling us that there was an increase or a decrease or whatever the case is. First things first, look at what is happening here. The first six kiloliters um, and, and just be careful as well here, it's kiloliters, okay? So if that is kiloliters, it tells you already that we are dealing um, with 600, I mean 6,000 liters. So 6 kiloliters is equal to 6,000 liters. So just remember that whenever you are doing your calculations, because I sometimes find that learners forget that, um, and then your calculations become a bit wrong. Um, something that is quite common that you will find is that sometimes the government will tell you um, that the first six or seven kiloliters or eight kiloliters are going to be free. But be careful because it's not always the case. Okay? So it's sometimes the case, but it's not always the case. So when you are dealing with a table like this, we need to be very careful. I find that tariffs are very challenging um, for learners. So when it says to us, um, let's see if we can see a question that's going to help us with that. Um, okay, so, ju so just know your terms, okay? Like, for instance, know what tariff is, know what VAT stands for. Those are some common questions. Um, and I'll come back to some of these questions, but I want to just show you something that's very common. So it says here that the Malefe household used 18,3 kiloliters of water. So the biggest issue when it comes to learners in this particular case is that learners will say, oh, they used 18,3 um, kiloliters of water. So it means that these people, um, so then a learner would go through and look at this and say, oh, 18,3 kiloliters of water falls under this bracket, meaning that these people um, paid 29 rand 68, or they paid 32 rand 57, okay? It is not the case. That is not correct. So you are not supposed to do that because what the government does is that they use a step system. So I'm going to show you um, what I mean when I, when I say step system. So if I used, um, let's just see how many kiloliters of water we're talking about again. Um, so for instance, uh, this family used 18,3 kiloliters of water. And I'm looking at this table here. I'm just going to remove all of that so that I can make it nice and clear um, for you. So if this family used 18,3 kiloliters of water. It is not correct for us to take that water and put it under one bracket. We need to remember 
that this water is as though it is in a tank or a cup, okay? And we need to remember that no matter what happens, the first six kiloliters of water is free. Do you see that? So now I know that within all of that, I have already paid for the, I mean, I'm, I'm getting it for free, sorry. So, and because I'm getting that water for free, I, I need to subtract that water. So that's six kiloliters. I need to subtract that water. Meaning I will be left with 12,3 kiloliters um, of water. When I have this 12,3 kiloliters of water, I need to go back to my table. Okay, so I go back to my table and I look at the next step. This is the next step of the table. The next step then says to me um, that anything between 6 kiloliters to 10 kiloliters of water, I am going to pay, um, so I'm going to be doing it for this particular year. Actually, let me see what they are asking me for um, here so that I don't make that mistake. So, um, they're not particular about the year. So, I'm going to use the first year. Okay. So, I'm going to use um, this year. Okay. So, I'm going to use 20 rand and 28 cents for that. However, what you need to remember when it comes to these kiloliters of water is that this bracket only accommodates four kiloliters of water. How do I know that 10 minus six is four kiloliters of water? So I know for the next four kiloliters of water, I'm paying 20 rand um, 28. So for the next four kiloliters of water, I'm going to pay um, that amount, which is 20 rand 28 cents. Okay, do you see what I did there? I'm still referring to 18,3 kiloliters of water, but the difference now is that I'm paying a different amount on each level. So now that I've billed myself on that four kiloliters of water, I need to go and subtract it to see how much um, I'm going to be left with. I'm paying for it step by step by step by step. I'm not paying the same amount for all of this water. So let's go back to the table. So now the table um, tells me that for the next five kiloliters of water, because 15 minus 10 is five kiloliters of water. So I know for the next five kiloliters of water, I'm paying 21 rand and 17 cents. So for the next five kiloliters of water, I am going to be paying um, 21 rand 17 cents. I hope this is so helpful for you. Okay, so now I've paid for, the, for that water. Um, okay, let's just see. So 12 rand, comma 3, minus 4 kiloliters of water. That's 8, comma 3. So I'm going to be left with 8, comma 3 here. And then now I've, I'm here, so I have to subtract this five because now I've paid for my five kiloliters of water. So I am going to be left with three comma three kiloliters um, of water. So now I go back to my table and I go to the next level. So when I look at it like this, I can see that on this level, it's also five kiloliters of water, okay? And I'm going to pay 29 rand 68 for it. However, I don't have five kiloliters of water left. So I can't force it into five. I have to use it exactly um, as it is. So I take that 3,3 3 exactly as it is. So then I take my 3,3 3 kiloliters of water. And it's my remainder. I always call this the remainder. So remember... I am not getting marks for this particular section um, of what I'm doing. I'm just trying to clear where the mistakes are when it comes to tariff systems. Okay, so now I know that for the, that remainder, because I don't have five, 
but I know that for that remainder, I'm going to pay 29 rand 68. So, 29 rand 68, okay? Then I just multiply, 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 multiply. I'm not getting marks for this, remember. The part that I get marks for is this part. Where I then say um, 6 kiloliters of water times 0 rand. That's where the brackets come from. If you've been asking yourself where the brackets come from, this is where the brackets come from. Times 20 rand and 28 cents. Do you see how easy it then becomes when you've broken it down for yourself? Uh, 5 kiloliters times 21 rand 17. Do you see how easy this becomes? Plus... Um, 3.3 kiloliters. So this 3.3 kiloliters, I'm going to be paying 29 rand 68 for. 29 rand and 68. And then you give your answer. Okay? So this is the one thing I really, really need you to remember um, when it comes to tariff systems. It's very, very, very important for us to understand this particular thing when it comes to tariff systems, that you are not paying the same amount for everything. Now they're telling you the Mkiza family uses 20 kiloliters of water. You don't go to the table and say, oh, this is the 20 kiloliters, um, and for these 20 kiloliters, I'm going to pay 25 rand 55 per kiloliter. No, you have to break down your tariff. You break down your tariff. And remember, it's not always free for the first six kiloliters. Um, sometimes you're going to need to pay for those um, six kiloliters. So you, you, you break it down step by step. And remember that you are going to get this um, when you are using, when you practice it a lot. Okay, let's, let's carry on with tariffs and see um, what else is quite common when it comes to tariff systems. So now we're good. Ne? I, I am hoping that you are going to get good marks for that. So the next thing that we need to remember when it comes to tariffs, um, it says to us here that for this particular band, um, there was an increase of 9,74. So we need to now calculate the value of A. So let's go see what the value of A looks like. So this is the value of A and this amount increased. So we need to find out how they found this. I'm going to do like a quick calculation when it comes to that because sometimes, um, and I'll tell you where the issue com in commonly lies. Okay, so in this particular case, we are going to find 9,74% of 60,65. So 60 rand... 65. We want 9,74% of that. So the best thing you can do for yourself, do not calculate and then go add it in the very same breath. Why am I saying you need to add it in the same breath? Because you will not forget to go and add it again. So do you see what I've done there? I've calculated 9,74% of 60,65 and I added in the very same breath, okay? Please do board mass and then if you're feeling confident, you can then um, use it exactly as it is. So I'm going to show you how to do that on your calculator. So 60,65, um, okay, let's put it in brackets, let's put it in brackets. 60,65 times um, 9,74 over 100 plus 60,65. So this is going to save you a lot of trouble um, in terms of your calculations. So you won't have any issues. So it means that the value of A is going to be 66,56. You need to know how to round off. This is a great three, four, five um, concept. So I'm not going to do it for you here. So 66, 56. 
66,56. Okay, so did you see how I did that? That also helps you to do less work because it is two marks. So don't go and do way more than what is required um, of you. So please remember that when it comes to percentage increase, you will not be given the formula. Sometimes you are given the formula, sometimes you are not given the formula. But here's a nice quick way of how to remember the formula if you are not given the formula. So all you need to do is say original price. So original price minus um, the new price. all over the original price, which is the old price. Okay, so this, you multiply by 100. This is for percentage decrease. Okay, so whenever you ask for percentage increase, you then turn it around. You turn these two around like this. Does it make sense? Then you swap them around. So always remember when it comes to this formula, it's always over the original price. Always over the original price. So what is it going to then be? We're going to take the two prices. So it says here the, 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 the increase for 10 is to 15. Let's go to 10 is to 15. So 10 is to 15. Let's just remove all of this. 10 is to 15 is this one, okay? So we are trying to find out um, how they got this. That's what we are looking for. So we are going to say new price minus old price all over old price. So the, the, the funniest thing that I see um, with the learners is that they forget to uh, subtract the two. You must not forget to subtract the two. So that's going to be 23, 23. So that's 23, 23 minus, I think it's 21, 17. Minus 21, 17 all over 21, 17 times 100. So that's the, the issue I find is that you guys forget that you need to subtract that. Percentage increase means you are subtracting something or adding something or whatever the case is, but here it's subtraction. So let's put that in brackets. I mean, in, in as a fraction, minus 21 over 17. Please remember this formula. Um, it, it is sometimes given, but it is sometimes not given. And then we multiply everything by 100. Um, delete, multiply by 100. And that should give us 9,73%. Uh, Isn't that perfect? Isn't that perfect? 9,73%. Um, that is so perfect. Absolutely um, loving that. So calculate the cost of their water usage, including that. You should know how to do that. So adding um, your VAT there. Always, always remember if you are asked for a suggestion, it doesn't, it doesn't need to look like your neighbor's suggestion. It doesn't need to be a particular suggestion, but it has to be, um, it has to relate to what the question is asking you. So when it comes to tariff systems, I hope that I've helped you <laughs> because tariff systems are usually a big, big, big problem um, when it comes to metric uh, math literacy paper one. Don't skip this section. This information should give you all the knowledge that you need to pass um, your tariffs. So go back to it, rewind it, um, and look at it all over again, over and over again. So we are going to take a quick ad break, and we will definitely be back.